Presenting the Compact Attic Ladder from Werner. Built for attic openings as small as 18 by 24 inches, it is both lightweight and durable, yet can handle a load of 250 pounds. It fits most houses with standard construction, and it opens easily and closes smoothly. This video explains the easy steps for installation and ladder operation. Note that this ladder comes with hinges and latch to install a door, but the choice of door materials is up to the homeowner. This chart shows the minimum and maximum dimensions necessary. Make sure your space is within these ranges before you proceed. Before you begin, read and understand the instructions completely. Tools required to install the compact attic ladder are a step ladder, an awl, a saw, power drill, a Phillips head screwdriver, half inch and 1 16th inch drill bits, adjustable pliers, a tape measure, hammer, and pencil. The assist arm can be attached on either the left or right side of the ladder. Check the space in your attic to determine on which side you want to mount it. Make certain you have a minimum finished opening of 21 by 15 inches and 44 inches clearance behind the rough opening. Step 1 is preparing the opening. Remove any existing trim and hardware. Then inspect to make certain you have sufficient floor surface according to the chart to install the ladder. Next is assembling the ladder. For this you will need a hammer and the left and right hinge guides. The ladder's front section can be identified by its rounded feet. On the rear section of the ladder, carefully tap out the tacks with a hammer and remove the plastic end caps from the bottom. Next, slide the hinge guides onto the uppermost frame section. The bracket should be positioned outward with the double hold half toward the ladder's top. Apply a small piece of tape to hold them in place. Do not replace the plastic end caps, they'll be needed later. Next, you'll determine if you need additional top stops and how to fit them on. If your ladder has an opening height in any of these three ranges, you will need to fit additional top stops. Be sure to measure from your attic floor to the floor and not your ceiling. First, locate the additional top stops over the holes approximately six inches below the permanent top stops on the rear section of the ladder. Then make sure the hinge guides are already in place below the additional top stops and attach the additional top stops as shown. Next, slide the bottom stops onto the rear rails, six inches from the end of the rails. Secure with the screws. Replace the bottom plastic end caps previously removed and secure them with tacks. Now that the ladder has been prepared, it's time to install it. To support the compact attic ladder, a minimum of three-quarter inch flooring and the full ladder's width behind the opening is necessary. Center the ladder in the opening and locate the hinge guide bracket arms on the top edge of the opening frame. Mark the guide holes with a pencil and then pre-drill pilot holes 1 16th inch in diameter for all six screws. Attach with 35 millimeter screws. The bracket arms with the two screw holes should be on top. If flooring material covers the top edge of the opening, be certain that the ladder is completely stable. If necessary, use longer screws to penetrate the frame itself. The ladder should now be free to swing from the hinges and slide freely up and down the guides. The next step is installing the assist arm. Base drill hole template located on the back of the packaging card. Position the template against the hinge guide bracket on the side where the power pivot system will be installed. Using an awl or pencil, mark the six holes through the template on the attic floor. Place the power pivot spring housing over the holes. Make sure that the arm points away from the rough opening with the slot in the cover on the left hand side. Secure the spring housing to the attic floor with 20 millimeter screws through the four inner holes. Then, place the housing cover over the spring housing 
and attach with 20 millimeter screws through the two remaining outer holes. Position the ladder in its fully stowed position carefully in the opening. Remove the tack and plastic top cap from the top of the required side rail of the rear ladder section and discard. In their place, attach the pivot tip. Locate the power arm linkage plates on either side of the pivot tip ladder rail and align all the holes. Secure the rail to the linkage plates using the bolt, the washers, the nut, the nut cap. Ensure that the bolt and nut are tightened sufficiently to allow the linkage to rotate freely without any looseness, but be certain not to over tighten the nut. This will hamper the smooth operation of the ladder system. Handrail Assembly The handrail can be attached to either side of the ladder. It is best to attach the handrail after the power arm has been installed. Attach the handrail to the side of the rear frame you have chosen. Use the spacers, bolts, washers, and nuts supplied. You can choose one of two different handrail heights, depending on the amount of handrail you need in the attic. Check that all the components of the entire assembly are fully secure. Now you're ready to finish the door opening. Measure the width of the opening and cut a 1x3 board. Nail the trimmed board to the header. The bottom of the frame should be flush with the ceiling drywall. Repeat for the length of the opening. Measure the inside width of the frame and cut a 1x2 board for the jam. Nail the trim board to the wood door frame, recess 3 quarters of an inch to create the door jam. Repeat for the length of the frame. If you use materials thicker than recommended, the opening may be too small to be usable. The next step consists of hanging the door. First, cut the plywood to be 1 8 inch smaller than the door frame opening. Screw the hinges to one edge of the door with the 3 quarter inch wood screws. Attach the hinges to the face of the frame on the same end as you installed the ladder. Have a helper hold the door closed. From inside the attic, mark the edge of the jam on the door with a pencil. Measure the distance from this line to the door's front edge and transfer the line to the opposite side of the door. Find the midpoint of the door's edge opposite the hinge side. This will give you the center line. Mark with a pencil. Measure exactly one inch in from the transferred mark. Mark it with a pencil. Drill a half inch hole in the center where the two lines cross. Pass the latch through the door hole from the underside so that the position pointer points toward the outer door edge. Place the travel stop ring over the latch such that the screw hole is situated at 45 degrees to the door center line. Secure the travel stop ring using a 12 millimeter screw. Place the latch catch over the latch and locate into the latch groove so that the latch catch points toward the door near the edge and fully locates within the travel stop ring. Secure the catch assembly with the M12 nut, making sure that the nut is tightened sufficiently to allow the catch to rotate freely without any looseness. Now you can attach the location bracket. When turned to the correct position, the catch lever will engage in the location bracket to hold the door shut. First, mark a vertical line on the inside of the door jamb corresponding with the center line of the door catch. Position the bracket along the bottom edge of the wood door jamb. Match up the indent mark on the bracket with the vertical center line. Make guide holes with the awl and attach using two of the 3 quarter inch wood screws. Apply the door labels to the top side of the door inside the attic. Operating the ladder. Place the plastic stowing hook into one end of the assist pole. Secure hook with a self-tapping screw. To open the door, locate the hook in the latch and turn to lower the door. Put the stowing hook over and at the center of the rear ladder section bottom rung. 
and steadily pull the ladder outward and downward until both top stops reach and make contact with the hinge guides. Retract both right hand side catches C and D and rotate both catch levers upward into the locked open position. To extend the ladder, retract the left hand catch A while supporting the front frame of the ladder. Lower the frame slowly until catch A engages again. Then retract catch B and lower the middle frame until catch is engaged in your required position. Extend the ladder until the feet rest firmly on the floor. When the ladder has been fully opened, rotate both right hand side catch levers downward to unlock and release both catches C and D and ensure both catches are fully engaged. Do not use the ladder with any of the catches disengaged. Read the safety labels on the product. Ensure that the ladder is pulled down so that the top stops rest firmly on the hinge guides. This supports the top section and prevents it from sliding down when climbed. Check the ladder angle against the safety label. To properly stow the ladder, retract both right hand side catches C and D and rotate both catch levers upward into the open position. To stow the ladder, retract catch A, then slide the front frame fully upwards until the catch engages again. Retract catch B and slide the middle ladder frame upwards until the catch re-engages. Release both right hand catches C and D and ensure both are fully engaged. Place the plastic stowing hook over and at the center of the rear ladder section bottom rung. Push the ladder vertically upward and fully into the attic hole. Use the assist pole to raise the door and turn the latch to close. Now you're ready to use the Warner Compact Attic Ladder and turn attic space into usable space.